It's The Real Deal, it's Thursday, and today we're gonna discuss why you don't wanna sell your house on your own just because it's a seller's market. In a seller's market, some homeowners might be tempted to try and sell their house on their own, known as for sale by owner or FISBO. When the inventory of homes for sale is as low as it is today, buyers are eager to snatch up virtually any house that comes to market. This makes it even more tempting to for sale by owner. As a result, some sellers think selling their house will be a breeze and see today's market as an opportunity to FISBO. Let's unpack why that's a big mistake and may actually cost you more money in the long run. According to the profile of home buyers and sellers published by the National Association of Realtors, 41% of homeowners who try to sell their home as a FISBO did so to avoid paying a commission or fee. In reality, even in a seller's market, selling on your own is likely going to mean you'll net a lower profit than when you sell with the help of an agent. The National Association of Realtors report explains, Quote, FISBOs typically sell for less than the selling price of other homes. FISBO homes sold at a median of 217,900 in 2020, up from 200,000 in 2019, and still far lower than the median selling price of all homes at 242,300. Agent assisted homes sold for a median of 295,000. Sellers who began as a FISBO then ended up working with an agent, received 98% of the asking price, but had to reduce their price the most before arriving at a final listing price. When the seller knew the buyer, the amount was even lower, coming in at 176,700. That's a lot of money to risk losing when you FISBO. Far more than what you'd save on commission and other fees. Despite the advantages sellers have in today's market, it's still crucial to have the support of an expert to guide you through the process. Real estate professionals are trained negotiators with a ton of housing market insights, more so than the average home owner may have. An agent's expertise can alleviate much of the stress of selling your house and help you close the best possible deal when you do. Here's the bottom line, ladies and gents. If you're ready to sell your house this year and you're considering doing so on your own, be sure to think through the decision carefully. Odds are you stand to gain the most by working with a knowledgeable and experienced local real estate agent. That's all we've got time for today on this episode of The Real Deal. If you've got any questions in regards to this subject, comment below or just shoot me a private message. As always, on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, give me a thumb, like, a heart. It would mean the world to me and we'll see you next week.